Hello, today I will be unboxing and reviewing the Scania R-Series container truck with forklift made by Bruder Toys. This is model number 03580. The truck is packaged in the distinctive Bruder Toys cardboard box with an open face and colorful graphics at the sides and back showing more products from this toy line. There's a strap holding the truck and that needs to be removed before we can open the box. The toy can then be unboxed simply by opening the tabs at one of the sides of the box. The accessories are held in place by some cardboard trays and can be easily removed. Once that's done, the truck can then be easily slid out of the box. Let's look at the accessories. Here we see two pallets fastened to the cardboard trays by a zip tie. I don't really like this kind of packaging because removing these ties can sometimes be a hassle, but they do keep these items securely in place. Eventually, the two pallets are set free from their packaging. Also included is this forklift. This one is not held by zip ties and can be easily removed. Now, let's look at the truck. First, we need to open the side mirrors. Overall, the truck looks very nice. Bruder Toys captured the look of the Scania truck really well. Hold on, where are the booklets and instruction sheets? Maybe they are stored inside the container. And so they are. Here we find an instruction sheet with nice graphics, an information sheet, extra accessories, a front adapter, a sticker sheet for the side mirrors as well as a product catalog. Now let's close this thing up. That's actually a convenient place to store these loose items. Time to install the stickers for the side mirrors. This is quite a tedious job and probably needs adult supervision to get it right. You just need some steady hands so that the stickers will line up properly. There's a sticker on top of the container warning the owner not to let small children ride this truck. This is a legitimate warning because this truck is actually quite big and a child might be tempted to do just that. So make sure to heed that warning. The extra accessories are clip-ons that can be attached to the corners of the container so that it can be joined with other containers. Let's now examine the details on this truck. The front of the truck is highly detailed and has a decal number plate. There is also a decal at the top of the truck indicating that this is a Highline model. The Scania nameplate is molded nicely. There is a decal of the Scania badge as well. The headlights and fog lights are nicely detailed under some clear plastic covers. The wheels and tires at the front and the rear are made of hard plastic and has a realistic look to them. There are plastic mud flaps at the rear with Scania graphics as well as a number plate. The tail lights are decals as well. There's even an aerodynamic cowling leading from the top of the cab to the top of the container. There is a black cover that can be removed to reveal a cavity where a separate light and sound module accessory can be installed. The graphics at the sides of the container are very sharp. Now let's look at the functioning parts of the truck. The hard plastic wheels allow the truck to roll smoothly forward and back. The side mirrors can be folded and the driver's side and passenger side doors can be opened, revealing a nicely detailed cab interior. The steering wheel can be rotated, but it does not have actual steering function. The seats are nicely sculpted, and there's a space behind it, good enough for a B-World man size bunk bed. The shipping container also has nice details. The levers on the doors can be flipped open, unlocking the doors which then opens easily. There is quite a lot of space inside the container. The doors close tightly shut and the lever lock the doors securely. To unload the container from the truck, first pull the red support legs outwards, then rotate these legs downwards. This releases the container from the tabs holding it to the chassis of the truck. Now the truck is free and can be rolled away from the container. Each can actually be played with separately. The process can then be reversed to reattach the container to the truck by rolling the truck back into position, rotating the support legs back up, pushing down on the container so that it snaps back into place, and then pushing the support legs inwards to complete the procedure. Now, let's take a look at the forklift. 
the single rear wheel can be steered and can rotate a full 360 degrees. The cab is simple and the steering wheel rotates. The forks are adjustable and can be widened or narrowed depending on the load it will carry. The carriage and mast can be extended forward or backwards. The mast has soft plastic lifting chains and the action moving up and down is very smooth. The mask can also tilt backward or forward depending on the loading situation. Now, let's see how a Bruder action figure can fit in this forklift. Yikes! The Bruder man cannot fit inside the cab. The space inside the cab is too small. That's too bad because it would have been better if the cab can actually accommodate a Bruder action figure. Okay, we'll just operate the forklift without a driver. First, we bring in the forklift until the forks slides neatly underneath the pallets. We then lift the pallet and drive to where the truck is. Line up at the back of the truck. Lift the pallets. Gently slide it in and then slowly lower the pallets and then drive away. Loading done. Now we can close the doors of the container and drive away. But wait, what about the forklift? We just can't leave it behind. Well, just like the real thing, the forklift can actually hitch itself to the back of the truck for transport. This is another superb product from Bruder Toys. The quality of the materials used and the scale details are outstanding. There are multiple functionalities that will guarantee hours of fun playing with it. I only wish that the cab of the forklift was big enough to fit a Bruder action figure. Nonetheless, I still highly recommend it. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.